Okay, I'm going to help you guys uh, to check this. I'm not going to multiply everything out, but I'm going to set it all up. So we're going to find the volume. Most important thing is name the shape. So the shape here is a trapezoidal prism. Find the volume of a prism. I take the area of the base times the height. All right, it's a V. The base is a trapezoid. So one half base one plus base two times height. And you're going to take that times the height as if you were setting it on end. Okay, and use your calculators parentheses or find this calculation separately. Next shape is kind of a compound shape. It's made up of two prisms. You can divide it up however you want to. I'm going to divide it up into this little prism right here. So since this is 15 and the whole thing is 20, I know this is 5 and I know the height's 5. So I have this cube that's 5 by 5 by 5. You can do that with prisms and your length times width times height. Plus I have this 15 by 10 because this distance is 10 by 20. And I can multiply those together, centimeters cubed. Another composite shape, basically the same shape, just turn. Volume. I'm going to divide this up here. So I have, I need to find this distance. Well, the whole thing is 8. This much is 3. That means I have 5 here. So I have 3 and 5. So I have 3 by 7. And the, the length there is 10. So 3 times 10 times 7. Length times width times height. You can do area of base times the height. For a prism, I kind of shortcut that. Length times width times height. Plus, this is 5 by 10 by 4. It's a lot easier with prisms. You're going to add those two together. Now I have one that's a little more complex, volume. I have a half of a cylinder. I have some tick marks on here. So I'm going to, that's six. That means the height is six. So I have two volumes here. I have the volume of the prism plus half of a cylinder. So six times 10 times six for the prism. plus half pi r squared h. So I need to find r. Well, if the whole distance is 6, then r is 3. So pi times 3 squared times height, as if I were sending, setting it on its end. Now it's just a calculator question. Here I have a prism and a pyramid. So I have 12 times 5 times 4 plus pyramid is one-third the area of the base times the height. Well, the base is 5 this way, and since this is 7, it's 5 this way. So the area of the base... is 5 by 5 and the height of the prism we don't know we have to find it we know the slant height so I have a little right triangle in there that I'm going to bring out this right triangle right here and the hypotenuse is 5 this bottom part is 2.5 this is the height so I'm going to do 2.5 squared plus h squared equals 5 squared. So I'm going to be taking 5 squared minus 2.5 squared. Square root, 4.33. So that's my h. So it's going to go right here. So area of the prism plus, or sorry, the volume of the prism plus volume of the pyramid. Last one, 
I have a hemisphere, which is half of a sphere. And I have a cylinder. So half, four thirds pi, my radius, make sure they give me the radius, three cubed plus pi times three squared times the height, which is seven. Okay, so now you have all the numbers plugged in. You just need to go back and calculate, see if your calculations match up. Be careful here with this half. This is going to be two thirds, which if you're using fractions on your calculator, make sure you put them in as fractions. That's it.